I made choices, not all of them good, not all of them bad, but choices. Hello everyone, it's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. My mic is really far away. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up home skill at best guess? Wow, my computer is having a fit probably from all of the hentai on it. <laughs> That's a joke. I don't download hentai. I watch it with a VPN and an incognito browser like a normal person. <laughs> so in the time I've been away, stuff happened. These are all things that um, I either purchased or was sent to me. So it's not all my fault and it's not all of it. Um, <laughs> make it make sense, Lord. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna use some new or new to me products in today's video. Is this video sponsored? Let me check. This video is sponsored by Drop. <laughs> How perfectly topical. If you don't know what Drop is, Drop is a super easy and intuitive way to rack up points for shopping. Ask me to make a relevant ad drop. <laughs> And what you do is you take these points that you rack up from shopping at your favorite brands and use that towards gift cards to keep shopping at your favorite brands. Amazon, Starbucks, Sephora. I had a $30 gift card for Sephora. Like I needed a reason to shop more at Sephora, but I took it. The app is super easy to use. Use the app to visit any of the stores that you would have been shopping at anyway. After you do that, points are automatically added to your account and uh, more shopping to be had. Hello, say la vie. If you've been following me on Twitter, you know that I've been having quite the fun time cooking at home because I'm trying to stop using like delivery services all the time because <laughs> I did the math. <laughs> Cook at home, do my grocery shopping more, but I always forget at least one thing. <laughs> so one thing that I've been getting into is Instacart because I'm like, once I come back, I'm not, I'm not coming back. And Instacart is on drop. So if I have to like, oh no, I forgot eggs. Nah, go to Instacart and they can get it so I don't have to do it. But now I can get points from Instacart if I just use the drop app. It's a fun time. 3,500 points for being forgetful. And also what's cool is that now is the best time to download Drop than ever because from the week of August 24th to the 30th is actually Drop's birthday week. And basically you have exclusive promotions for that particular time. And that could be through higher cash back and also exclusive giveaways. So download the app down below and use my code and you can get $10 or 10,000 points. After you rack up your first thousand points, it's a dollar chick. Thank you, Drop, for sponsoring today's video and feeding into my bad habit. So as I've said, decisions have been made. Not all of them good, not all of them bad, but decisions nonetheless. And so I have a lot of products to try and I only have one face. What a bummer. So I just picked some that looked particularly interesting and I'm going to put them on my face. I've already put on a wee bit, just a smidge, just a little bit of um, hourglass foundation because this is the only foundation that I have that's like a close summer color for me. Cause I got a cute little tan. I wish I tanned evenly, really be great. But like my neck and then my arms, life, man. Uh, and then I use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in uh, caramel because uh, I'm just trying to get rid of it. Oh, and the foundation is in natural amber. One of the hardest parts of trying to make this video was deciding what eyeshadow palettes because I got a lot of them. I decided that I wanted to use these two. We got two completely different spectrums as far as pricing wise. This is ColourPop's new little ray of sunshine. This actually came today, like literally maybe three hours ago. Look at that. That's cute as shit. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, I want to use that. But then also I got sent the uh, Pat McGrath Mothership eyeshadow palette. I don't know what this is actually. Oh, is it French? Ooh, they trying to clown me. Mothership Rose Decadence. It's the six pan. Speaking of Pat McGrath, one of the many bad decisions I've made is I now have all of the 10 pan Mothership palettes. It's my pride and joy and my biggest shame. Don't use them nearly enough for the price that they cost. But anyway, this is beautiful, yeah? So I was thinking, let's do like a rose among sunflowers. I, I don't know, are my neighbors arguing outside really? It's so early. But before we do that, I do have for once a new eyebrow product. I don't switch up my eyebrow products very often. I usually just uh, stick with the good old M Cosmetics, particularly the cream, the brow cream. It's my thing, I love it, I, I care for it. But Benefit sent me one of these weird kind of three prong pens. The brow micro filling pen. Somewhat 
gimmicky. So I'm gonna try this out and see if I end up liking it. Uh, by the way, this is in dark brown. I'm not mad at that. Oh, made the mistake. Truly mortal folly of getting back into exercising. <laughs> no, it's been, it's been really helpful mentally. If you follow me on Twitter, I've been talking about this quite a bit recently, but I did, I, um, I started using not sponsored, obviously, because I had another sponsor in this video. One gave me a uh, gift card and I was like, okay, well, we'll see what the influencers are on about. Okay, here's the thing. At first I was like this, I mean, if I didn't have a gift card, this would be, you know, like low key kind of expensive. And then I made the m horrid mistake of adding up how much money I've spent in quarantine per month through like Uber Eats, largely Uber Eats, but sometimes Grubhub too. Since March, I've spent about $2,200 on just delivery. <laughs> that's like five, $600 a month. Ugh, that's embarrassing. So I can't sit there and be like, oh yeah, this $50 a week is like so expensive. It's like, bitch, that's half of what you were spending. One meal that wasn't even good. So like, shut up is what I'm getting at. Actually spending like, at least for me, cause I live alone. I end up spending that much, but it ends up being six meals because it's for two people. I spent double this. I can't, I can't even like sit there and be like, this is too expensive, like shut up. I say all that to say I'm cooking now and I'm currently on a little trial of not ordering out because obviously my wallet is crying. Endless pain. Oh, by the way, I use the, uh, the M Cosmetics. What is this called? Oh, wow. I rubbed this all off. <laughs> Clear like brow gel fluff stuff. I actually really like this. I didn't like it so much at first. I was like, what's the point? But now I find myself using it all the time. I'm gonna prime with a little bit of concealer. This is the Oma concealer. This isn't new by the way. Honey, honey, T1. But yeah, Uber Eats, it, me can't just, we just can't coexist because like obviously I've abused it used it and abused it for far too long. I was thinking about life before delivery food and that was, I discovered Grubhub my junior year of college and I've, <sighs> haven't made good decisions since, man. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little, little ray, oh, it's literally got a little ray of sunshine, okay. I think what I'm gonna do, because this mustard in the middle right here is singing to me. Ooh, she's powdery, okay. Warm up this general area for now and then we'll go, we'll see where we'll go with that later. Yeah, now I've been like, cooking for myself, which is wild. <laughs> Not that it's wild. I've been cooking for myself for, you know, for a while now, but I just don't really like my food that much. Hell I mean, kind of like, oh, this is kind of fire. Because, how do I put this? Hell is that white people food that I would order if it didn't cost too much. <laughs> I think about it, when you go to a restaurant, do you sit there and you order the salmon salad, the $24 salmon salad, or do you order the $12.99 burger and fries? Both are delicious. I just, in good, consciousness just can't sit there and, and spend over $20 for one meal and so or one item. So do I order the salmon salad? No. Would I make the salmon salad? I could, but uh, more often than not, I'm too lazy and I just don't do it. Also salad is such a weird and ambiguous thing for me. <laughs> Up until very, very recently, when I thought of salad, I thought of like a production. Like I thought, I thought like a lot of things go in salad. Salad isn't a salad unless it has like eight trillion things in it, which means you have to chop up and buy eight trillion things. I'm not doing that every day. Like I don't feel like it. Should be making salads and it's literally lettuce, apples and dressing <laughs> and say, voila eat it alongside the other foods. And I'm like, I've never eaten so many leafy greens that I have in the last week. I'm a fan. So we're gonna we're gonna try to keep that going because I don't eat enough green vegetables just because it's very, very tedious. So there's like the little yellow hue. And now I'm gonna take this like pink color right here. Yeah, they got me rethinking dressing too. Like, <laughs> why am I still on this topic? Before I thought a dressing had to be bottled. I didn't know you could just put lemon juice, oil, salt, and pepper on some lettuce and call it a day. If you want to get more fancy, you can put some Dijon mustard, a little bit of fresh herbs, some chives. Headed up when this comes out, will that be out yet? Yes, I have an EP out. I don't know if I've talked about it already. I, I'm just filming this. But uh, the, the EP should be out by now. If you wanna listen to it, please do. I think I'm gonna take that same color and put it like really into this, 
inner part. A yellow lid? Yes, yes, you could go with a yellow wig. A yellow wig. I'm trying to like sheer it out. I don't want it to be too wild in here. Okay, this is supposed to bloom and blossom like a beautiful sunflower. My. In this like uh, sunflower collection, they also have these uh, super shock shadows. This one is in in harmony, which is like a really nice yellow gold. Boop boop be doop on the lid here. Well, that color is simply delightful. I don't want you anymore. Kids in the kitchen. I don't want you anymore tonight, tonight, tonight. Wow, this is uh, swiftly turning into a ColourPop Sunflower whatever collection video. But there's also liners, and these are fascinating to me. These are the BFF cream liners in the yellow one is Sub-Zero for some reason, that's a weird name. And then the brown one is Sunnydale. These are so soft that they kind of lose that point really quickly. Do these have a sharpener? I don't think this is a sharpener. This is just the bottom of the, ha! <laughs> it's just the bottom of the thing. Okay, well, no, no, no. Any hoodle doodles. Liner is a little bit shimmery, so I don't know if I should put this on my waterline as I go to put it on my waterline. Then we're gonna take those two colors that were used out of this one. Onza the eyes. Mascara. Pat McGrath has one. This is the Dark Star Mascara. Anything that I have the, that's Pat McGrath that isn't those big ass palettes was sent to me. And, oh, and the lipsticks and the glosses. I bought those too. <laughs> but other than that, that's a cute little bop. It reminds me a bit of um, the, what is that? The It Cosmetics one. The superhero one. Um, one thing that was pretty exciting is that this La Messier finally came out with a medium powder. I would get so frustrated because I liked the original translucent, but I could always tell that I'm like, it would look better if it weren't so white. And then the dark one is too dark. So I have to use it like kind of like a bronzer. This is it in translucent honey, which is like a good yellow tone. So hopefully this will be the same fantastic fantasticness of the, orig the original translucent powder, but except not as ashy. Gonna pat this pretty strategically just under the eye because I still have like liquid blushes that I want to play around with and I don't want to get too into that territory because you can already tell this tone is so much better. I have two options on uh, cream contour right now because Fenty cream bronzers, which I'm late on. Um, I actually bought these a while ago and I never, I did not like them <laughs> because the color was really off. And this, these are them next to each other. These are used obviously. Um, we have number six chocolate and number five Teddy. Number five is too light, number six is too dark. I'm noticing a trend with me and Fenty, that is an ongoing problem. Mixed together, it's fine, but who the hell wants to mix together bronzers all the time? But I have them, so I'm probably not gonna use that, and instead gonna use this Ulma, uh, what is it called? Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in Bronze Venus. Uh, it's a highlighter and a contour. I have not even tried the highlighter, I don't think. Nope, it looks pretty clean to me. This is a good ass contour. I gotta be careful, because I have a habit of using it too heavy. Just like a little boop, boop, boop. And like a little boop, 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 boop. Does anyone else have the issue that WAP is in their head, but it's in like public spaces? So you feel really uncomfortable like gloating about the moisture expenditure of your lady regions. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the tweets that came out when that when the video first dropped. <laughs> the one that's still in my mind is one that's like in my Hillary Clinton voice. I too have a WAP and that is a way to access Paul. <laughs> I hate the internet. So M Cosmetics came out with more serum blushes and I love these. I usually don't wear these over foundation so this might get a little funky, but um, this is one of the new shades. This is in Venetian, no, Vintage, what is it called? Venetian Rose, I was right the first time. Trust her and stinks, kids. These are a very liquidy formula. And so because of that, I often elect to use it without foundation entirely because I find that you minimize the possibility of like it picking up. Oh, but these are so pretty. And I'm just gonna tap it on because if I go swiping, it might disturb the foundation underneath. Oh, juicy. 
That's cute. Before it was the milk. What is that color? Rose milk was my favorite. I think I like this color more. All right, since they already have like the Venetian rose serum blush, I'm gonna use the Venetian rose. I might want it a little bit deeper than this, but this is another one of their lip cushions. I like that less. <laughs> That's more purple-y than I thought it would be. I wanna warm it up. It's a little too cool for me personally. Every time I use this brush, I get so many questions. Um, This is from Sigma. I think it was called the 3D, what is this called? 3D, no, 4D HD Kabuki. I don't know if they still make this. This is the ColourPop Lip Oil, Lux Lip Oil in Hot Shot. I actually have already tried this. Really like these, by the way. Oh, these are nice. It's not quite a gloss. I think it's appropriate to call it a lip oil. Yes. So I think I'm gonna end it there. I was gonna put a highlighter on, but look at that. There you go, there you have it. That is my face. I hope you had a fun time playing around with makeup with me. And if you like this video, be sure to like this video. Comment down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD. And I will see you guys next time.